Hi, this is Rockin' Robin. Welcome to Rockin' Robin's Garage Sale Finds. If you're new to this channel, I want you to know that we come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And today is Friday, so on Fridays we have our flea market tip of the week, as well as the topic that we're talking about. And today it's best times to put up holiday items when should you put them up you know we have been selling on ebay for over 20 years we have been selling on poshmark for about four years three or four and we've been selling on mercari which i don't have a logo yet for for i would say three months maybe we've only made sales in the past month or two we sell also on facebook marketplace and we sell at the flea markets so Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we come out to talk to you and give you tips and secrets and ideas and things that you should know if you sell online or in any of those formats. Today, it's best times to put up holiday items. We've been doing this for so long, I know all the good times. So you stay with us, we'll be right back and we'll talk about that. Welcome back. It's time to talk about the best times for holiday items. We're going to start off with Halloween. Halloween items. I put them up in either late August or early September. But if you sell costumes and you have cosplay items like uh, an Avengers or a Star Trek or Star Wars costumes, you need to put them up all year long because people will go to conventions and they need those outfits. So you can't just put them up when it's Halloween. You have to put them up all year long. But other Halloween items I put in August. Now some people sell them all year long and there's not a bad time to sell them. But I find you get the highest prices and you get the most sales starting late August through early October. So that is when I put them up for Halloween. Halloween decorations of course. Halloween decorations are becoming the new big phase. I find now that as many people are doing Halloween decorations as they did Christmas. Now, maybe not as much, and it's slowly gaining, but people who do it, do it a lot. You got to do that in late August. I used to sell at the flea markets in Connecticut, and anything before Labor Day that I brought Halloween did not sell, but it seemed like as soon as Labor Day came, I had to bring my Halloween stuff because it went crazy. It was gone in September, and if it was anything left over by the first week of October, it went and you start your prices higher and you lower them as you go along because as it gets closer, you want to get rid of it. So if you're doing flea markets, you're doing it that way. Start them off high, lower them as you go along, but don't bother until after September, after Labor Day. Then you can start. Now Christmas items. Some Christmas items sell all year long. Sometimes it's better to put it up all year long, but they also sell better after Labor Day. Now it picks up in late October. I used to put everything up on like October 5th for Christmas and it would sit there and it would sit there and I'd say, when are people going to start buying Christmas? Well, the best time and the best week is November 12th or the week before Thanksgiving. The week before Thanksgiving, I sell more Christmas items than any other week of the year. So November 12th is the date that I say to put them up. If you want to get sell them quick, and you want the most money. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't put them up before that. I have items that I sold uh, last month that were Christmas items. But I'm just saying that is the best week for you to put stuff up and for you to get the most money. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the only week. I sell it right from uh, the week before Thanksgiving. And then what's going to happen is Thanksgiving is going to happen and people are going to go to the stores. And the Thanksgiving week, you would think Black Friday would be good. Black Friday is usually not that great. You might get a sale or two, but nothing special. And the Saturday and Sunday are nothing special. And then come Monday, they start buying again. And then it's good until about December 18th. Around December 18th, if you want to sell Christmas items, what you need to do is you need to have one or two day guaranteed delivery. Um, and then holiday items sell good again after Christmas. December 26th, they sell. I have a video out about going shopping for December 26th and buying things to sell. So you can do that. And they sell great. The week between 
Christmas and New Year's items sell. Christmas items sell great. People got their money in from Christmas. Now they want to spend it on the items that they didn't get for Christmas. And a lot of them are ornaments. They may see people, other people's ornaments and say, gee, I really like that, or I didn't get that, or something happened and they want that too. So that's a great thing. But then after January 2nd, eBay comes to a standstill. I find it's very slow. Now this year wasn't as bad, but it still was very slow. Now, what types of things do you put up for Christmas? Look at my shirt. This is, I consider a Hawaiian shirt, but it's really Santa Claus on a motorcycle. That type of thing really sells. And I'm gonna put this one up very soon, maybe today, because uh, I think it's really cool. And I want it up ahead of time. It's long sleeve, so I don't know about wearing it in Florida. Uh, I couldn't even uh, button it here because I was just too hot. But yeah, that's the way it is in Florida. But somebody in Connecticut may absolutely love this and want this and maybe not want it until November 12th, but they may want it in late August. So I will think about it. I'm going to put Halloween late August and I'm going to put Christmas uh, probably September. I will wait until then. You have to remember that some things sell all year round. So you don't necessarily have to wait. A lot of people will put up Christmas stuff, holiday stuff all year round. Now, I don't know what you sell for Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving is a weird month. I think they need to start making Thanksgiving decorations a lot because I can buy a lot of Halloween and then all of a sudden Thanksgiving comes. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I put up a cornucopia, a couple pumpkins, um, some leaves. I mean, a Thanksgiving sign. It's not a lot, but you got to sell Halloween and Christmas. And those are good items to sell at that time of month. And that is where most of your money comes in is the fourth quarter. So have everything up and keep putting stuff up. If you have a death pile stuff, get it done by the end of September. If you don't, you're losing sales then why would you want to do that i don't want to do that so now we are going to have our flea market tip of the week hi this is rock and robin and it's time for our flea market tip of the week if you are going to a flea market and they have no cover you need to bring a tent or an umbrella you need to bring something because if it's really hot you're going to sweat a lot you're going to get sunburn if it's cold you're going to freeze you need to bring a tent or something to cover up. You would be surprised how many people go, they don't bring a chair and they don't bring a tent and then they sit there and they die. At least bring some kind of umbrella to protect yourself. You don't want to pass out and you don't want to get sunburned. So this is Rock and Robin and that is our flea market tip of the Welcome week. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that flea market tip of the week. Um, we try to give you them every Friday. Now next week, we're going to talk on Monday about what is selling on Poshmark and what I sold on Mercari because I actually sold things. I'm very proud of that uh, because I wasn't having any luck and then all of a sudden stuff happened. So we're gonna talk about what I've been selling on Poshmark, what I've been selling on Mercari on Monday. We are also going to have a contest and we're gonna announce all the details on Monday. We have a new contest, a new subscribers. If you haven't been a subscriber, you need to subscribe, hit the like button uh, leave a comment if you want to know when we have more videos hit the bell because that's going to help and we're going to give away something on not on monday when we get to a certain amount of subscribers we'll give you all the details on monday i'm getting so excited <laughs> i don't know what can i say so those are the types of things we're also going to talk next week about items that sold for over 50 dollars. people say you know you sell things and you make a 10 dollar profit what about the big things so i'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that we sold for over 50 dollars. so you know what to look for if you want high priced items and i'm also going to tell you what you should sell for the rest of the year because i told you at the beginning of 2020 these are the things to sell now i'm going to tell you we're halfway through what should you sell the rest of the year? We're going to look at that. See what's, what, what's happening, what you need to know. So you stay with us for next week. And like I said, make sure you subscribe. Now, it, it's, it's a Friday. It's exciting. You uh, need to go garage sailing or thrifting. And if you haven't started eBay yet, what are you waiting for? Put at least one thing up. Give it a try. It's not that difficult. I know I have a, a, a watch out there who sells Coca-Cola things. Put up one. Just see what happens. Put it up for your price. Try it. Then once you did it once, then you can think about when you want to put the rest of the stuff up. But I'm saying you have to begin somewhere and just one thing will help. So there you have it. All right. So now go out, find your stuff, put it up on eBay and go make yourself some money.
This is Rockin' Robin. Have a good weekend.